fantastic world of Hanna-Barbera, featuring the down and dirty dinosaurs, starring Spawn, Dunk, and me, Seymour, with your favorite cartoons, Fantastic Max, Richie Rich, and my favorite game show, Ski Daddle. All this and more on the fantastic world of Hanna-Barbera. <laughs> Well, you're alone, K-Max, and the fun time started I'd laugh until I cry He's dynamite in those four-ply diapers He's my kind of guy Well, there goes Max on a big-time mission Will he lose or win? Yes, it all depends on the four-ply diaper And that saves again He's tops. I mean terrific I don't know another word That says it's so specific Well, here comes Max And his fun time heroes It's victory again They owe it all to that four-ply diaper And that safety pin Fantastic Max will continue after these messages. Mmm, mmm, my Super Golden Crisp cereal's bringing more honey to this nutritious breakfast than ever. I'm a buzz with the news. <laughs> so are we, yeah. Hand over your honey sweet wheat, sugar bell. Hand it over. To be or not to be? How about a vitamin pack punch? Now buzz off. Can't get enough Super Golden Crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. And more honey. Little Miss Makeup, we're going to a party. She's Little Miss Makeup, the magical doll. You'll need your eyeshadow. Ooh, purple earrings, too. And your red nail polish. Wow. Just use cold and warm water. Now, should I put your lipstick on or take it off? Um, let's put it back on. And with your sweetheart, we'll be the hit of the Party. <laughs> Little Miss Makeup comes with a play suit and a party dress you can change. Little Miss Makeup, only from Mattel. We now return to Fantastic Max. Oh, look at the little angel. Isn't he cute? Max, I have a surprise for you. Da 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 da! Well, what do you think, Chef? Goo goo! It amazes me how you two communicate so well. Wee! Goo ga ga ga! Wee! Yeah! Yes, it is! <laughs> he loves it. I knew he would. Yep. I know Dad had the best intentions, but he just doesn't know play sand from beans. Look at this stuff. The color, the texture, the bouquet. It's all wrong. Not to mention the weird way it squishes between my toes. Oh, well, where does the connoisseur go to get the proper play sand? To the biggest sandbox in the world, of course. The Sahara Desert. I feel utterly ridiculous in these crib sheets. The Middle East is dangerous for foreigners, A.B., but in these disguises, we'll blend right in. But what if they spot our rocket? No rockets for us. We're going Arabian all the way. Whip up a flying carpet, FX. Rocket and roll! But, Max, aren't flying carpets a bit out of date? This baby's on the fringe of carpet technology, A.B. 50% nylon weave, soil repellent, and it goes zero to 608 seconds. Ah! <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Uh, and now, ladies, 
ladies and gentlemen, here's to the man who broke all the records with his uh, supersonic yodel. Uh, let's have a big yodel fest jammery welcome for a yumpin' Yemeni! <laughs> Max, what's that up ahead? Let's drop down and take a look. Hopeful is one thing, but to think that after 20 years... It's been 20 long years, Popo, and I still believe my lost son will return to me. Ah, uh, my son, fruit of my loom, come back! Daddy! Wah! Oof! Bobo! It's my baby boy come home again! Ha-cha-cha! Excuse me for living, your great and wise Ani the Sultan, but how is it possible that this is your son? <laughs> oh, come on, Bobo! He fell out of the sky! So? Everyone who falls out of the sky has to be your son? He looks just like the etching! I've carried this 20 long years. That's exactly my point. You'd think the prince would have grown an inch or two in 20 years. This one's still a little baby. So he's a bit scrawny. A little home cooking, some baba ganoush, and we'll build him up in no time. Excuse me, your highness, but I'm not your son. <laughs> what modesty. You're a regular chip off the old falafel, all right. Not like those other phonies who only pretended to be the lost prince. What happened to them? I had them beheaded. Beheaded? Oh, Daddy! Hatcha-cha! That's my boy! I believe Max fell inside that walled city. Come on! I tell you, Reaper, the city is unsafe nowadays. It's irksomely repugnant. There are thieves everywhere. Oh, my teeth! Help! That man stole Bucky's gold teeth. <laughs> My kismet! Hey, you! Drop those teeth! I got the thief! 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 And I got his accomplices! 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 Really, sir? You've made a terrible mistake. You lying pig dog! Then how do you explain this? Gimme! Ah! It's the royal slammer for you desert dirtbags! Look, guys, I gotta go find my friends. Uh, but you can't leave. Not before your wedding day. Huh? Uh... <gasps> my son! Wedding? P but doesn't that involve a girl? But surely you remember, tomorrow will be 20 years to the day when you were betrothed to the princess of the House of Serp. And tomorrow, 20 years is up. You gotta marry the princess, otherwise the serps will descend upon our fair kingdom, looting and pillaging. But Mia, that's one adventure even I'm not ready for. 
I'm scared. I want to get out of here, A.B. Ogiman Doggy tells me you assisted in his latest robbery. Who are you? Well, uh, I'm A.B. A.B.? What kind of name is that for a vicious criminal? Uh, I meant A.B. Uh, Scourge of the Desert? Hmm, Scourge. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Sounds tough. And him, the one with the big nose. Oh, uh, his name is F.X. Uh, the Ayatollah of Rocket and Roller. Hmm, yeah! The Ayatollah. Oh, that's pretty high up there. That could rhyme too. Good. Oh, it's our great leader, the son of the desert wind. He has come to rescue us. Quickly, Oggy Ben Doggy, Baba Ben Louie, to the camels. Y y but why are you taking us? We're not even members of your band. You are now. Yeah. Liven up, my son. This bachelor party's in your honor. Why, you've hardly touched your pickled chicken feet and curried froggy tongue. Uh, and I used to think strained peas were bad. <laughs> I know, you're saving room for your favorite dessert. <laughs> Candied fish noses. Yum, yum. No way this junk's getting past my lips. But maybe there's another use for them. Oh! This food fight will give me the perfect cover to make my getaway. Just one moment, young prince. Uh-oh. There is one final task you must perform. You must journey to the cave of Shaki, steal his mustache, and present it to your bride-to-be, the Princess Serpent. If she wants a mustache, why doesn't she just grow her own? She already has, my son. <laughs> That's part of her charm. And if I refuse? The Sultan would then be forced to hunt you down and... In that case, I'll get the whiskers. There, the secret hideout of the Son of the Desert Wind. Open sesame! You live in a, a sesame bun? We used to live in the Kaiser Roll, but to enter there, we had to dance the beer barrel polka. We moved when we lost our accordion player in a raid. There's the genie's home. We ain't so shucky. And how tough can this genie guy be? So, you're here to steal my mustache, eh? You, you bet your life! No, you bet your life. Uh-oh. <laughs> Baba Ben Louis, stop wiping your mouth on Akbar's socks. And you, Yasser, you shouldn't burp with your mouth full of couscous. You're teaching table manners to a bunch of thieving maniacs. What kind of man does this? He must be truly fearless, this A.B. Your leader, the son of the desert wind, has returned! Man, I'm home! How was your day, O oh brother of the ass? Miserable as all other days, because the true object of my desire, the Princess Serpet, is ever denied to me. Sad tale. My heart is heavy, poor leader. Dust off outside. But enough of these matters of the heart. I see we have strangers in our midst. Explain, Yogi Bin Boo Boo. These are vicious thieves. They want to become new members of our band. To join our band, you must first take a test. Pass, and you may join our happy little family. But if you fail... Mm -hmm. So you want to win the incredible mustache of Shecky, eh? Then don't just stand there. Come on down. Well, let's begin our little game. You have three chances to guess the magic words. If you guess the correct words, you win the miraculous mustache. 
Guess wrong, and Alcimitop list as your bottom. Well, what are the words? Um, uh, Merry Christmas? Sure, and I'm Sandy Claus. I guess again. Uh, is it Rack of Lamb? Shish kebab? You're not even close. Last chance, Junior. Dirty diapers! That, that's it. No one in 8,000 years has ever guessed the magic words. How did you know about dirty diapers? Believe me, Shecky, they're very close to my heart. We are the men of the sun of the desert wind. And though we live in a pun, we are not chagrined. We rob and pillage and we do it for fun, cause the son of the desert is a son of a gun. Hey! We are the men of the sun of the desert wind. Although we look for dangerous and ragged, we are really a friendly bunch. If you do not believe it, just come visit us and we'll say, let's do lunch! Because we are the men of the sun of the desert wind. We are the men of the sun of the desert wind. Fantastic match will continue after these messages. Of Kellogg's Corn Pop cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Wouldn't a free five ounce Dairy Queen dipped cone taste good right now? The coupons on specially marked boxes of Corn Pops. Imagine chocolate, butterscotch, and free. Mmm. Some special friends are in your grocery store. Uh -oh. <laughs> Gorsh. Disney frozen treats? Those are good. Delicious Disney frozen treats. Made in the shapes of Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. You can taste the magic. Why, why? Of Disney frozen treats. Are you into the books or the bit of a clown? A Broadway baby or just hanging around? What kind of Campbell's kid are you? Are you into the stars or oh, 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 oh. Return to Fantastic Maps. Enough, my melodic marauders. This is where AB and FX prove their worthiness. You must rob the first traveler that passes by. Don't worry, FX. What are the chances of a traveler coming by right at this moment? I'd say better than 50-50. Look! Oh, dear. You go first, FX. No, you. you no, know, I don't want to. Neither do I. No, after... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Who dropped the camera on me? <gasps> Max! An inspirational display of thievery. You boys are in the band. By the sun of the desert wind, can, can this be? By myself it is. The legendary mustache of Shecky. The Princess Serpent is mine. Hey, you! Give me back my mustache! Careful, Max. These are desperate men. Come, AB and FX. We ride for Bandazar. I'm sorry, but Max is our friend. Whatever happens, we'll stand with him. Smooth move, A.B. Farewell, A.B. and F.X. If anyone should pass this way while life is still within you, tell them to fear the son of the desert wind! Sure. We have to tell them to... Get, get us, us out, out of here! Kids, what's the matter with kids today? The day of his wedding and my son dumps me. <gasps> By all that's dry in the desert, we're in for it now! His Most Serene Highness, the Sultan of Sape! 
his delicate offspring, the Princess Serpet, and Papa Serp, wait for me! Smarty Serp, Prince of the Realm. Well, dip me in hummus and cover me with baklava. If it isn't my old foe, the Sultan of Serp. Still an anxious little schmo, I see. Where's that no good son of yours? That's what I'd like to know. Max, there's a horrible creature on my snout. <laughs> Get off of me! Get! <laughs> you did it, Fix! You sneezed us free! And that's not all. I've heard of sneezing up a storm, but sneezing up a sphinx? Come on, guys! I'm not gonna let a guy named Wind get away with stealing my mustache! <laughs> I've been stood up at the altar! <laughs> ha! I could have told you this would happen, but would you listen to me? No! Shut, Shut up, Smarty! <laughs> Weep no more, my little box turtle. Your ship of the desert has come in. Oh, oh no. The son of the desert wind, and he's wearing the mustache of Shaggy. Out of my way. I possess the mustache, so the princess is mine. Mustache or no, I won't let you marry this precious flower. <laughs> oh, really? And who's going to stop me? I am. Oh, I am. Oh, did you hear me? And guard you, windbag. <laughs> 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 One shay. Don't you mean two shay? One shay, two shay. What's the difference? Oh, 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 oh. Why you look just like me, dirty diapers? Oh, oh, oh. Can't you keep your mouth shut? It's not enough. You already guessed the magic words. You got to tell the whole world. Hey, what's going on here? Who's this guy who looks just like my son? He is your son. Twenty years ago, the baby prince strayed from his crib and wandered into my oasis. <coughs> Only after he got there, I had to get rid of the brat. Uh, his highness. So I unloaded him on the first travel to pass my way. The original desert wind. Hacha! My boy! My son-in-law! My brother-in-law! My Get off me! <laughs> well, looks like a happy ending here. So it's back to the rancho for me. First I'll get rid of you before you spill the beans about dirty diapers to anyone else. Adios, kid. Oh boy, am I glad to be home. I'm not. I wish we hadn't forgotten to bring back some sand. Max, your wish is my command. It is done. Dirty diapers! This is gonna be tough to clean up. Fantastic Max will continue after these messages. When you shop for meat, you want to see how fresh it is, right? Take ground beef. When it's packaged like this, you know it's not ground fresh daily in the store, and you can't see what you're buying. At Food Line, we grind our beef several times a day right in the store and wrap it so you can see it. And here's another thing that's important. Food Line's ground beef has a better lean-to-fat ratio than most of our competitors. So the next time you buy beef, take a good look at ours. It shows up a lot better than theirs, and ours is at an extra low price. It's the Hands Down Championship. If you've got the fastest hands around, hands down, you can be a winner at Hands Down. Hands Down, Hands Down, hands down. Hands down the fast action game. If your numbers match, be the first to slam down your hand. But look out for the bluff. Hands Down from Milton Bradley.
We now return to Fantastic Max. Fantastic Max! Sega commercial that tells you when you buy any Sega system, you'll get the incredible two-player Double Dragon absolutely free. This is the commercial for Sega games that tells you when you buy three games, you get Double Dragon free. But wait, this is also the commercial that tells you to tear down to your nearest store and tear off a Sega coupon that says, if you buy any Sega system or three of our specially selected games, you'll get Double Dragon free. Offer expires December 31st. Major fun and a free game from Sega. Get it? Got, Got it. it. Good. Watch me get Fred's Cocoa Pebbles. Super Cocoa Man needs more cocoa. Try my chocolatey Cocoa Pebbles. <laughs> cocoa Lasso. Barney! Oh, oh. Cocoa Pebbles cereal. A Cocoa Lasso part of this nutritious breakfast. Pebbles introduces the Bedrock Erasers with Barney, Dino, and Fred. Yeah, a do rub rub. A Fred with two hands. A do rub rub. Now there's one instead. Cause a do rub rub. One eraser free in each specially marked box of Fred's Pebbles cereal. You can you can push him, you can push him, you can squish him, you can't stop, up, 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 smush. Hide the smushies in your pocket, stuff another in a locket, you can't stop, up, 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 smush. Unsmush them right before their eyes, when you hide them, no surprise, you can't stop, up, 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 smush. Everybody smush, your smushies. Everybody smush, your smushies. Everybody smush, your smushies. Smushies sold separately from Fisher Price. Ah, uh, gee, punk. We've been here all day and not a pint. Hey, Slambo, what's this? Uh, uh, that's an egg. What kind of egg? Oh! <laughs> Looks like a baby alligator egg. Look, we're daddies. Well, I hope our little nipper likes this next cartoon. Yeah, I bet she's really gonna snap to it. <laughs> uh, kind of cute. Stone ground corn tortilla chips made extra thin, light, and crispy. Original nacho salsa. The Cheros. The Cheros light and crispy. Imagine me and you and you and me together eating golden grams so happily that crispy gram and honey taste was meant to be. So happy together.
fraction of the rich estate. Yippee! Yahoo! Oh, Mickey, isn't that bucking bronco dangerous? With Professor Chamby's super safety improvements, it's super safe. Watch! Gosh, Richie, you're the greatest cowboy ever. Me! <coughs> Me! Howdy, partners. <laughs> Have you tested all my robot horses and cowpunchers? They're all working perfectly, Professor Kimi. Everything's ready for tomorrow's opening of our charity Wild West show. We've already collected ten million dollars in advance sales for the needy kids. And our super train is looting the money now to take it to the bank in Richville. What's that strange box for, Professor? Yeah, uh, a box? Oh, uh, yeah, well, I can't remember. We, uh, oh, yes, there's one way to find out. Wishy, look! Dance, partner! Oh, yes, oh, my goodness, now I remember. It's my Wild West Robot Stunt Show Control Box. I'll take care of your robot desperados with your remote-controlled laser lasso. <laughs> that should keep them in a safe place. And you better keep this in a safe place. It could be dangerous. <laughs> now to press bust out of jail and make those robots work for me. Move them out. We're off to rob Richie Rich's charity train. <laughs>
the caboose. Happy trails! Now to get the charity money to Richville. Mm, mm, mm. Fuck that boulder, you beastly bronco! That'll stop Richie Rich in his tracks. Oh, 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 oh. Rich thinks he's safe, eh? Release those boulders and seal them up inside that mountain! Oh my gosh! They sealed the tunnel! We're gonna crash! Uh-uh! Our super train is equipped for all emergencies! We will return after these messages. Sniff. 
Sniff terrific. Sniff terrific. Smell terrific. Instant Quaker Oat Meal. Sniff terrific. Taste terrific. Instant Quaker Oat Meal. Instant Quaker Oat Meal. The nose teasing, taste pleasing part of a nutritious breakfast. Maple brown sugar, peaches and cream, apples and cinnamon are giving up steam. Eleven sniff terrific, taste terrific flavors. Sniff, 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 sniff terrific. Instant Quaker Oat Meal. Time to make the donuts. Introducing a big idea from a giant in the business, the world's smallest donuts. Ta-da! In new Dunkin' Donut cereal, you get delicious, crunchy little donuts by the hundreds. All your favorite donut shapes, rings, holes, and twists. You can choose rich chocolate or glazed donut flavors, or both as part of a nutritious breakfast. Dunkin' Donut cereal, crunchy little donuts, great big taste. Time to eat the donuts. The Protect America Battle Force 2000 creates the battle vehicles of the future. Nobody see I know Battle Force 2000. Skysweeper, Eliminator, Vindicator. Nobody be C.I. Joe's Battle Force 2000. Dominator, Vector, and Baroda, they split and recombine into the awesome future fortress. Yo, yo! Nobody be C.I. Joe's American hero. Battle Force 2000 figures and vehicles sold separately. Collect all six vehicles to form the future fortress. Yo, yo! And if we keep searching, we may find some prehistoric bones. Wow! Dollar found a real dinosaur skeleton. Look, it must have swallowed that prehistoric cart. And there's something written on the wheel. It says, Rich Wheel Works, patent pending 1 million BC. Wow! Is it possible my ancestors go all the way back to the Stone Age? <laughs> well, I always said they came from the old country. <laughs> Gosh, caveman cousins. I'd give anything to go back and meet them. Hmm, I built a time machine once. I, I wonder if it still works. Come on, let's find out. Well, now, where did I put that old time machine? It's too big for the small storage space, but it's much too small for the big storage space. Oh, so it must be in my storage space for the spaced out outer space spaceships. Yeah, yes, there it is. Perfect condition. I mothballed it myself before putting it away. <laughs> Looks like the moths had a ball with your moth. Professor. Hey! <laughs> We're all aboard, Richie. Oh, she's just like new and ready to go. Uh-oh. Oh, she needs oil. Look, Professor Keenbean has the controls all set to go to 1 million BC. All he has to do is press this button. Yeah, yeah, me. Oh, boy. No, Dollar, don't! She's gone back to the Stone Age alone. Look, there's Mansion Hill and Mount Rich. This is our estate one million years ago. Oh my gosh, it's a man-eating Tyrannosaurus Rex. We're surrounded. Quick, our only hope is to get to that cave. like my Ricky. What all the noise? Ooh, who's that? He looked like my... Ugga mess, ugga mess, ugga clean, ugga clean. Alien object. Ugh. 
Tiger Zoo. Wow! I feel like I'm right back at home. Hey, Dad, what's going on? Hey, see, we got cave guests. Oh, my gosh. You look just like me when I was a kid. Ugh, me Ricky Rich. Uh, I'm Richie Rich. Glad to meet you. Oh. This is my dog, Dollar. Ugh, glad to meet you, Dollar. Ugh, now you meet my dog. Dino Dollar. No, Dino Dollar, let him out. Like I said, it's like all home week. Uh, home, no good no more. Oh, no can get to swamp me to trade jewels for food. What Mom means is, since man-eating dinosaurs moved in, we trapped in cave. Hmm. I think I can get you out to the swamp meat with the wheel. Ugh. What is wheel? Wait and see. Here, 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 here. Huh? There. Two wheels and a cart for good measure. You told me Dino Dollar was the fastest dog in the world, right? Right. Okay. He'll pull us in the cart and we'll zip past those dinosaurs before they know what's happening. <laughs> Dollar, no! for Mr. Grunt, uh, two for Mr. Og, six for Mr. Bob. Got it, Ricky? Got it, Dad. Look like Wheel is super successful. Thanks, Richie. It looks like you started the riches on the way to riches. Glad I can help. But now it's time for us to get back to our own time. <laughs> Professor, we had a great trip in your time machine, all the way back to 1 million B.C. You mean it worked? What? Well, that's impossible. I can prove it. I brought back a souvenir. Gloria, do you want to go to the premiere of that new space movie with me and a few friends? Oh, I'd love to, Ricky. No, please. Did you say a few friends, Ricky? 212, please. Robot maids weren't designed for dancing. Irona, are you okay? Oh, yes, Richie. It's just that watching you kids dance made me think of the fun I missed because I never was a child robot. That scientist said they can make Irona a five-year-old in ten minutes. Golly! I can't wait to see what she looks like.
plan is working. Irona seems a lot quieter. There! All done! <laughs> now for the fun part! <laughs> Free with specially marked boxes of post honeycomb and alphabet cereals. Kids' music should be fun and easy. Like Casio's Muppet Baby's keyboard. Let's show them, Emily. Just match the colors below the keys with the colors in the book. And make different sounds like piano, violin, or flute. With Casio's Muppet keyboards, learning music is child's play. again, Sam. <laughs> Roller Razor's got me going. Get down and go. Go. Don't know how it does it. How's it do it? How's it go? Roller Razor's got me. You just sit down and swing. No motor and no batteries, but something really moves that thing. I got a Roller Razor. Roller Razor's got me. I don't get it, but I got it. Roller Razor got to me. Roller Racer Sit Skate. Your parents put it together easily. From Whammo. If you like building blocks or know someone who does, you're going to want these. The Flexi Blocks. The blocks that move. Only Flexi Blocks have this patented design to make every block move. Not just one or two special pieces. Because Flexi Blocks move, any project is more fun and exciting. Dinosaurs grab, cars race, bulldozers roll. You can even make things to wear. FlexiBlocks have won four major awards for excellence. Now, with the special Factory Direct TV offer, you get all these pieces. Satisfaction guaranteed. Order your FlexiBlocks now and get this storage pail. Start building like never before with FlexiBlocks, the blocks that move. Order your FlexiBlocks now for $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling. Call 1-800-372-5500 or write Fantasy Toys, P.O. Box 7140, Berkeley, California. This is a special Factory Direct TV offer, so order now. Sorry, no CODs. Call 1-800-372-5500 and get Flexi Blocks, the blocks that move. Simple as can be. 
Next time we be with yeah. you, just wear a smile. I hate smiles. Happy things will come to you. So smirk yourself a grin. Ooh, I hate smirks. Waddle McDonald and the Chicken McNuggets in... Making a movie! <laughs> Is the star ready? Yes, I am, Donald! <laughs> oh, all right, make up! Make up! <laughs> Let's film the big sauce jump now. Jumping! Camera rolling! Cut! Cut! It's that! Get that the end of our movie! <laughs> the good time, great taste! Well, at least you're on television. <laughs> I don't know, so don't ask me. I ain't the one to tell you what you're looking for. No, but don't ask me. You should only care about how you want to wear them. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. They're really comfortable jeans. They're Levi's. I like to wear them loose. Um, I like to wear them tight because it looks good and that uh, they feel good. You can slash them. You can wear them short. You can roll them up. You need to your jeans. I'm already saying, everything I know. <laughs> well, you're a Get the beat! Let's tell you that A is for apple. Apple Jack's so apple sweet. And you know, J is for Jack. Uh-huh, and the pull of the E. apple sweet, Apple Jack. Real apples and cinnamon make Kellogg's Apple Jack's an apple sweet part of a complete breakfast. Apple Jack's a day, apple sweet, Apple Jack's. Eat up, you got Apple Jack's and Apple Jack's. Why don't we do breakfast? <laughs> it's nearly done, Azriel. Behold, Azriel, my latest stroke of evil genius. This will turn me into something those snivelling smurfs can't resist. <laughs> A smurf berry patch. Just the place to snare a smurf. Now, a little bit of this. familiar about this baby smurf. 
What is it about him? Kachito. Oh, don't touch me, you wretched. I mean, Maybe I'll remember. Uh, let's go, Grouchy. Maybe Smurf needs his rest. Oh, what's Baby drinking? No, no, no. What is this yuck? Oh, it, it smells like poison. And poor Baby almost drank it. Do oh, you empty headed you? I mean, uh, uh, goo goo, goo goo, uh, goo goo, goo goo. Baby Smurfs, Baby Smurfs, nothing about uh, Baby Smurfs. Uh, uh. of Wormwood. <laughs> In a flash, I'll be my normal, unlovable old self again. What? Is some Smurf there? What's Smurfing on here? Well, look at this. Who could have Smurfed such a mess? I thought I locked this cabinet. There, that doesn't... Oh, I must think of something else. What's this? Aha! The rare cactus, Petrophycus. Now that gives me a most wicked idea. Good morning, Vanity. Didn't you hear me, Vanity? I said good morning, and I think it's extremely rude not to... Vanity? <laughs> One, two, three! Hefty, did you hear what happened to Vanity and Brainy? They're... <gasps> Petrified! What's smurfing on around here? I don't know, but I don't want to catch it. But it inspires me to write an ode to petrification. To stand still atop a windy hill. Maybe I'll change that to an ode to getting out of here! What's wrong, Smurfette? Some awful, terrible thing is turning all the Smurfs to stone. To stone? Smurf is me. Uh, what about Baby Smurf? I don't know. I can't find him anywhere. <laughs> Come on, let's get to the bottom of this. These poor Smurfs. Quick, bring them to my lab. I must find a cure. Great, Smurf. Someone's been in here. Oh, no. My cactus petrificus. That's what's petrifying my Smurfs. But who's doing it? I hate petrified Smurfs. I hate runaway wheelbarrows, too. No, what? At this rate, it will take years to petrify all these miserable Smurfs. I need a way to, to blow them all up at once. That's it. I brought him all up! Soon, this village would be nothing but a pile of brood dirt. At precisely seven o'clock, the sun will set on these miserable Smurfs for the last time! Baby Smurf, where are you? Oh, that meddling wench! Baby! Oh, baby Smurf, what are you doing? I'm blowing all you vile widow Smurfs to smithereens! <laughs> Gargamel! Help! Let me out of here! <laughs> yes, this should do it. Not the Smurf! Baby's gone! Oh, boo! We can't Smurf him anywhere! All we found was this! Just as I suspected, it was Baby Smurf all along. But he's just a baby. That wasn't a baby. That was Cogamel. <gasps> Cogamel. Oh. Oh. Did we give every?
Jerry Smurf the antidote? Oh, I think so, Papa Smurf. It won't be warm now. <laughs> Did you hear? Baby is Gargamel! Yeah. Oh, baby! Owned to petrification. Crazy! Papa Smurf! Ah, oh, Papa Smurf, baby's got a bomb. A bomb? Baby Smurf's a bomb? Mm -hmm. It's in the well. Here we go. <laughs> a few more seconds and kapooey. No more Smurfs. <laughs> Three, two, one, and presto. What happened to that miserable bomb? Badness me, where's my bomb? Oh, I hate Smurfs! Bye bye, Gargamel! Oh well, home at last. Stay away from me, you fool cat! Go, go! Aswiel, you numbskull! It's me, Gargamel! Huh? Ew! There it is, my counter spell! Ah. What are you looking at? Asriel, you feline fool! How dare you attack me! No, oh, never mind. At least I don't have to look like a disgusting Smurf anymore. How mortifying. Now, where did I put those bad luck charms? <laughs> I can't find them. I thought I put them over here. No, no. <laughs> we will return after these messages. Wow, it's Lucky. Let's get his marshmallowy Lucky Charms. Oh, the kids want me delicious Lucky Charms. I've got to make it home. If you love marshmallows, come to my house, where my Lucky Charms cereal is filled with marshmallow surprises. Pink hearts are installed, yellow moons, green clovers, blue diamonds, and purple horseshoes. In tasty oats, the scrumptious part of this complete breakfast. You got him! Huh? Delicious! Frosted Lucky Charms! Marshmallowy delicious. Ghostbusters! It's the real Ghostbusters Firehouse playset. Vagrant, our firehouse is haunted. No way. Oh, no. I've been goo. Thinking ding, ghosts ding, to ding, the ding, stadium. Ding, ding. The real Ghostbusters, each sold separately, assembly required. Hey, buddy, see anything weird? It's Tombstone Tackle. Don't lose your head. Take a hike. There's a policeman. Oh, no. It's, it's ex-cop. Cop. I can't believe my eyes. Whoa. We're not scared. Not the last, Leon. Not the last. There, baby. You see? It's a piece of cake. Why, oh, bet even Clumsy can do it. I'm ready to go. What's that? Boom, boom, boom. I know it goes boom, boom, boom. What's making that boom, boom, boom? It's Thunder, Taylor. Everyone knows that. When the cold air currents of the north smurf with the... Then how come the sun is shining, Mr. Brinny Smurf? Well, obviously you know nothing about physics. Physics, physics. When you got no clouds, you got no thunder. I hate thunder. <laughs> Well, 
Well, it is certainly obvious that Baby is definitely not in his chair. Baby! Baby, where are you? I hate this. Baby! 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 Stupid! It's not furry. It hasn't got big floppy ears. What we have here is a leprechaun. And maybe a pot of gold. This leprechaun's worth more than a whole wagon full of rabbits. All right, my little Smurfs. Baby Smurf is out in that forest somewhere alone. We must begin a search immediately. Baby! Baby Smurf, where are you? Hey, look what I found! Baby's toy! I found something too, Taylor Smurf! No, no! What's the matter, little fellow? What? Poachers? His mother and Baby Smurf have been caught by poachers! Oh, no! So that's what it was! Bunny says, the sound you heard was the drum the poachers used to run the rabbits toward the traps. We've got to rescue Baby Smurf! Oh, poor baby! In you go, rabbit. Your new home. <laughs> At least for a while. <laughs> All right, leprechaun, tell me, where's the pot of gold? <laughs> Uh, master, that sounds like baby talk to me. Well, of course it would sound like baby talk to you. What do you know about speaking leprechauns? He just told me that wild horses couldn't get the secret of the pot of gold out of them. Come, Leon, it's time to check the other traps. All right, Ponzi, you and Greedy take baby bunny back to the rabbit warren. Yes, Papa Smurf? The rest of you, go back to the village and organize all the Smurfs. If the furrier will not free baby, we may have to fight. Meet me at the furrier's camp. Yes, Papa Smurf? Oh, my! My fellow Smurfs, you have probably all wondered where I have been. Well, where have you been? I have been with Papa Smurf searching for Baby Smurf. We have discovered Baby has been kidnapped by the furrier. Oh, no! Papa Smurf? Yes, F.B. You get the Smurfberry pies from Greedy. I think 200 pies should be enough. That should do the trick, F.B. Andy, you make sure the catapult is in working order. Smurfette will help you. Come on, Smurfette. We all feel the same way, Smurfette. We're coming, Baby Smurf! We're coming, Baby Smurf! It must have been a couple of poachers. Shh! Don't say that, Janini. We're the poachers. This is King Gerard's forest. It's a lucky thing we caught that little blue leprechaun because we don't have enough fur to outfit an elf. <laughs> What's that, Leon? I said we still have three traps to check. Right. You do it while I make sure of my little pot of gold. Hurry, my friend. There is no time to lose. Keep it! 
we have here? Another one of them little blue leprechauns. The master will be happy to have two of them, even if this one is a little old and run down. The master will be double rich now. Instead of one pot of gold, he'll have two. But why should he have all the gold? Just because he talks leprechaunese? Why shouldn't I be rich too? I'll just tell the master we didn't catch nothing and come back for you later. Then I'll have a pot of gold too. <laughs> Oh, oh, looks like we did catch something. Me. Amazing. It's all right. You can come out now. I would like to say and thank you properly, my dear friend, but I've no time to lose. I must get to the furriers. Baby Smurf is in grave danger. you that not smurfing attention to matters at hand can cause a lot of trouble. But the important thing is, baby is safe and sound. Do you think the poachers will ever come back to our forest, Papa Smurf? I rather doubt it, Smurf, eh? but... They're back! Run for your Smurfs! It sounds like it's coming from behind Epsi's house! Rice Krispies sounded great, until... Hush! Hush! They stopped talking. Hey! Bring back Snap, Crackle, and Pop! Hush! Put them down! Snap to it! Snap? Yeah! Snap! And so... Snap, Crackle, and Pop! <laughs> the talking part of this complete breakfast returned. Rice Krispies! Breakfast doesn't sound good without it. Okay, now we're talking Thunderblade. One heavily armed attack copter. Evil forces trashing your city. Twelve rounds of major air to ground destruction. An arcade classic. Allow me to note my aerial technique. Hey, guys, come on. Come on, you'll get your turn. Thunderblade. Just one of 70 games from Sega. And now look for the incredible Fantasy Star. Sega. Major fun and games. Wait a minute, Fantasy Star? Sega's Thunderblade, Fantasy Star, and Master System sold separately. Isn't there nursery? 
three fountain babies can do it all. Walk, snuggle, fuss, and crawl. That's some busy nursery. Batteries not included. The Fountain Babies Nursery comes with five fun accessories. Doll with one accessory sold separately. Chi <laughs> Tunk! We've been here all day and not a bite. Hey, Slambo, what's this? Uh, uh, that's an egg. What kind of egg? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a baby alligator egg. Look, we're daddies. Well, I hope our little nipper likes this next cartoon. Yeah, I bet she's really gonna snap to it. <laughs> uh, kind of cute. This is a story about an ordinary teddy bear. When he was made, they found something wrong with him and threw him away like a piece of rubbish into an old dark storeroom. Then, from outer space, a spotty man brought him to life with his cosmic dust. He took him to a magic cloud where Mother Nature gave him special powers. That bear became Super Ted. Floating in the vast desolation of space is a cloud. Glowing gently with a strange light, it fills the cold emptiness of the heavens with its own magic warmth. This is the home of Mother Nature. I get in the model over the weather. Wish I could forget the weather all together. Let me see, let me see. I think there's a certain place on the planet Earth that deserves a little sunshine. <laughs> there. And on the planet Earth, the sun appeared from behind a cloud. I'm a bit worried about all this sunshine, Spotty. Some parts of the world need a lot of rain. But I'm sure Mother Nature knows what she's doing, Super Dead. All the same, I'm going to take a look at Africa on the video monitor. Meanwhile, deep in space... <laughs> I told you it wouldn't be that difficult to find Mother Nature. After all, that cloud is the biggest source of energy in the galaxy. What are we going to do then, Tex? We take over, control the weather on every planet. We have earthquakes, floods. <laughs> oh, Tex, you're so nosy. And I'll force that gray-haired old goofball to mix me a magic potion. Just like the one she gave to Super Tex. I like it. I like it. Don't struggle, lady. Only oh, plunge a few worlds into chaos. Great! Just like this. Golden <laughs> gooseberries! I don't believe it. What does Mother Nature think she's doing? Ah! Oh, Spotty! <laughs> Oh, oh, no! You think you'll get away with this because you won't, you big bully? As soon as he hears about this, Super Ted will be here, mark my word. Ah, shut up, you old windbag. I'll take care of that Super Ted. Just watch. Aha! Insane prunes! Look outside, Spotty. The weather's going crazy. But never mind the weather. But what about my spots? We'd better go and see what's wrong with Mother Nature. I'll say my magic word. Okay, Spotty, I'll take your rocket. Oh, but, 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 but it's terribly windy out there. Come on, Spotty. <laughs> are, you, are you all right, Super Ted? Yes! But hurry, Spotty! We must get to your rocket! Look, look out! Oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. 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 How do you feel?
feel, Spotty? But how, but how would you feel if you had stripes and a tree fell on you? Well, I'd feel I had to find out what was going on. Oh, quickly. Come on, Spotty. Come on, lady. Hurry up or I'll do some permanent damage. I might be a lot quicker if you were more polite. <laughs> Great game it is. Here. What's that rocket? I think Mother Nature must be in terrible trouble, Spotty. Um, but we'll, we'll soon be there. Hey, Super Ten. How'd you like a few meteorites? <laughs> oh, no! A meteorite storm back! Oh, that's just what we need. Hold tight, Spotty! We're going to crash into that cloud! Ah! Ah! Okay, come on out, Super Ted. Your time's up. Don't worry, Tex. Get out of my way, you fat fool! Don't push, don't pull! Take me back, you big oh, baby! No. Okay, Super Ted, you win. I give in. Just don't hurt me. All right. Forger, don't come any closer, Super Ted. Or I'll wreak havoc on the universe. You devil! Come on, Grandma. Give me the push. No, Mother Nature, don't do it. I haven't any choice, Super Ted. But I'm sorry, Super Ted. <laughs> Hold your breath and count to a thousand, Tex. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I seem to have got my potions mixed up again. <laughs> and so much later. Try drinking water from the wrong side of the glass. Stand on your head and I'll frighten you. teddy bear. When he was made, they found something wrong with him and threw him away like a piece of rubbish into an old dark storeroom. Then, from outer space, a spotty man brought him to life with his cosmic dust. He took him to a magic cloud where Mother Nature gave him special powers. That bear became 
Super 10. The barren wastes of the Arctic. A land of ice floating on the cold sea. A sleigh snakes its way through the snow. In these extreme conditions, the atmosphere plays tricks. High above the horizon shimmers a mirage. <laughs> All you have to do is knock the mammoths off the icebergs. Mammoths? Yes. A mammoth is a prehistoric ancestor of the elephant. There are none left now. Though some people say there are still some alive in the Arctic. <laughs> oh, no, Spotty, you've won already. Oh, yes, well, you should watch what you're doing instead of talking so much. Mush, mush. Gee, it's great to be hunting again. It's hot. It's freezing. And my bones are creaking with the cold. Uh, what are we hunting, Tex? A mammoth. Uh-huh. A mammoth what, Tex? A mammoth's a great big lumping animal, you idiot. Couldn't we hunt for something small, Tex? Like a house. No, we can't. I could hunt me a mammoth and make one of the fanciest fur coats in the world. Mush! Oh, Tex, look out! Oh! Oh! Dear, the picture's breaking up, and we were right in the middle of the game. It's probably someone who wants our help. Look, Super Ted, a dog with a moustache. That's a walrus, Spotty. They live in the Arctic. Well, if it's not a dog, what's it doing with that bone? Galloping gooseberries, that's not just a bone, Spotty. It's skeleton. I think those walruses are in trouble. I was afraid you might say that. I'll put on my rocket pack. And I'll say my magic word. Come on, let's go! There's an igloo. Maybe the Eskimos will know where that mammoth is. <laughs> oh, so cold. Yeah, my nose is blocked. My bones are creaking. My feet are numb. Uh, yeah. My fingers are numb. Yeah, I've doubled over. You can say that again. I've doubled over. Oh, shit. Right, fellas. Follow me. Oh, no, dear. I've just got nice and comfy. Skeleton. I'm coming, I'm coming. I was only teasing. Uh, wait for me, Tex. Uh, Tex. Look, Super Ted, the ice is cracking. It's summer spot. As the weather gets warmer, the ice begins to break up. There's someone waving at us. Let's see what they want, Spotty. Happy landing. And whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. I have a bald bird of spot. A mammoth! That's a mirage spot. But it means there must be a mammoth around somewhere. I'll soon disturb your beauty sleep, you little rat. Wake up! Where is it? Where what? Quit stalling and got time to mess around. Mess around with what? The mammoth. What was that? Takes quick. It's the hairiest elephant I've ever seen. There's a dome down there, Super Ted. That's an igloo, Spotty. Where Eskimos live. Let's take a look. It's deserted. There's nobody here. <whistles> Blistering bananas, Spotty. Look at this. What's so special? It's only a dent in the snow? No, it's a footprint. A mammoth's footprint. Yippee! Gotcha! <laughs> Easier than stealing my granny's purse. <laughs> well, well done, done Tex. <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! Hold on to that boy. What's he doing over there? He's got away, you idiot. You dummies! Hold on to the mammoth. I'll get that boy. Yeah, anything you say, Tex. Uh, come on, boy. Come on, heel, heel. Don't pull. We'll go walkies in a minute. Tex! 
There they are, Spotty. I'll get Tex. You better watch out for the ice, you for dead. It's beginning to crack. Don't worry about me. You might as well give up, Bulk. I'll never give up, Bulk. Come back, over here. Super T. Uh, I can't move. I'm f f frozen into the ice. Spotty! That won't do any good, Super T. He can't help you now. <laughs> Damn boy. Fit. No, no, no. Ah! 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 The ice fast enough. Troubled by Texas beat again. No, that's one problem. We put on ice. We will return after these messages. Everybody's got a way of moving out and making tracks. But the best is having fun. Making tracks with Handy Snacks. You can play the Make Tracks with Handy Snacks game. Look for your game card in specially marked boxes, and you can win this mountain bike or Handy Snacks sleeping bag. And everyone gets cool stickers. So For a free game card, write to Handy Snacks, P.O. Box 1233, Skokie, Illinois, 60076. Thousand cents or hundreds win! Make that! Give me an X! X! Give me an O! O! Give me Tic Tac Toe! Well, level I go in, Texas and those Makes me feel so hungry for my Tic Tac Toe. They're so tasty. Chef Boy RV! Tic, 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 toes. Tic Tac Toes, a good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Thank goodness for Chef Boy RV. Tic, 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 tac toes. With and without meatballs. Yeah. Robocop, part man, part robot, all cop. Drop it. Robocop and the Ultra Police, each sold separately. The only cops with rapid repeat cap firing. Evil headhunter on his skull hog is cruising for trouble. Robocop in his armored Robocopter takes off after him. Fire Robo missile. We'll give you a lift to jail. You put Robocopter together. Robocop vehicles and figures with Robocaps each sold separately.
RoboCop. Part man, part robot. All cop. Drop it. RoboCop and the Ultra Police, each sold separately. The only cops with rapid repeat cap firing. Evil headhunter on a skull hog is cruising for trouble. RoboCop in its armored RoboCopter takes off after him. Fire Robo missile. We'll give you a lift to jail. You put RoboCopter together. RoboCop vehicles and figures with RoboCaps, each sold separately. Ah, France! The land of l'amour! Glamour! French toast, even! Here is where you will find Paris. The city of love. Parisians, however, are constantly snoozing. Bonsoir and welcome to Paris. I am Le Pink Pussycat, the world famous cat burglar, and your guide for tonight's tour. This evening, we visit the incredible Louvre Museum to steal one of the world's great art treasures. So, join me, won't you, as I exit stage left. Inside the Louvre, we find all the priceless masterpieces, like Whistler's mother. <laughs> the thinker. The two plus two is five. I think. The American Gothic. Oh, McDonald had a farm. And the greatest masterpiece of all, <laughs> La Morning Liza. Sacre <laughs> bleu! What grace, what beauty, what a schnozola! Once I steal La Morning Liza, I will free her from the painting and bring her to full blooded life! Face. Let a lady get some shut eye, will ya? I love it when they play hard to get, no? <laughs> Exit with the goods. Oh, <laughs> stage right. And with the theft of the morning lies of last night, the entire world has gone into mourning. For the latest details on the investigation, we now go to Paris, where the city's chief inspector, undercover elephant, is holding a press conference. Uh, him. But seriously, folks, to solve this crime, I have called in the greatest treasure hunters on the face of the earth. Oh, really? Who are they? Who else? Yogi Bear and the gang. Ta-da! We're smarter than the average treasure hunter. Another perfect landing. Salutations, my French-type relations. But, uh, can you fellas really find the Mona Liza? Can you? Can we? Can we? Yes, we can, can. And we exit into the Louvre. Can, can, and all the way. Stage left. Howdy, folks. We're inside this here museum now, combing the place for clues. This is where the morning Liza used to hang, Yogi. Maybe the governor gave her a reprieve. Quit clowning, Yogi. We need to search every nook and cranny. Crooked nannies, eh? Okay, sister, that means you. Huh? Where was you on the night of the third, the fourth, the fifth? Oh, pleading the fifth, eh? Don't deny it. There's still putting all over your face. She's not your thief, but me and Pa seen the whole dead gum robbery. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. Well, the burglar was that no good pink pussy 
cat, and he had a shadow. But everybody has a shadow. But this shadow was different, like a real plot. But when the pink pussy cat escaped, the shadow got locked inside the museum, and he's still in here to hide somewhere. I think he's behind that curtain. I'll do the thinking around here, Flinker, and don't you forget it. Well, I'll be. It's the shadow of the pink pussycat in the flash. Except in his flash, it's sort of see-through. Ergo, all we need to do is find who matches up with said shadow. And Viola, we found our villain. How comes it, guys? I've been in the powder room admiring my profile. What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, <gasps> she's no, a perfect match. That's him! That's the pink pussycat! He's the robber! Who? Moi? Pulling my leg, my tail, my tootsie even. This is no joke. You are under arrest for the theft of the morning Liza. Who is the burglar, Troy? Our well, top story tonight, Snagglepuss the mountain lion was charged today with stealing the morning Liza. We now go to the Bastille in Paris, where his trial is about to begin. <laughs> This court is now in session. All rise for the right dishonorable judge, Hokey Wolf, presiding. Sorry, I'm late, folks. I would have been here sooner, but I was busy tampering with the jury. What a bunch of softies. You're beautiful guys. Don't change a thing. Mm -hmm. So let's get this lynch mob rolling. How does the defendant plead? How do I plead? On bended knee, grovel, and all the way. Excuse me, Your Honor, sir, but my client pleads temporary insanity. How do you know he's insane? He hired me as his lawyer. Overruled. But, Judge, I'm as innocent as the driven snow, the sleet, the slush, even. I'm not guilty of anything. Let's have some order here. Order in the court. I'll have a chili cheeseburger to go. Make mine a double, but easy on the onions. Yes, sir. To share your way. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. After you stole the painting, exactly where did you hide it? But I didn't steal it for Pete's sake. For Pierre's sake, even. You've got the wrong citizen. That's what they all say. But I'm telling you the truth. And if I'm not, may I be struck down on this very spot by Howie's Comet. <laughs> to rephrase my last statement. Gentlemen of the jury, it's time for you to reach a verdict. I object. Overruled. The defendant has been found guilty as charged. And so, Snagglepuss, this court sentences you to the guillotine. Come and say Adam's apples. I thought the guillotine was outlawed centuries ago. It was. But in your case, we'll make an exception. Case closed. So, at dawn tomorrow, Snagglepuss will go to the guillotine. Until that time, he's being held in the Bastille dungeon, along with two other convicts, Dastardly and Motley. Well, it's about time. We've been locked up in here the entire show. That's a fine set of rotten script. There's not only that, we're being guillotined at dawn, along with you. What did they charge you with? Jaywalking. God, these French have stiff fines. The place Paris, France. The main event, Snagglepuss versus the play. Hello once again, everyone. This is Homer Gazelle, along with Frank Gibbons, reporting to you live from Guillotine State. Just listen to those fans. Critters we rescued. We are forever in your debt. Just remember, you two, while you're on board this ship, you'd better behave. Oh, you have our solemn promise. Now to get 
help us off the hook. We gotta prove he's not a crook. How are you gonna do that, right tell? Mm hmm? By finding the real pink pussycat, the one who filched the moaning Liza. So, TC, why should we commence snooping for said stolen master boss? Start by finding the pink pussycat's hideout, which is rumored to be a famous place in France where the people wear no pants. Then we're off, crew, to a famous place in France where the people wear no pants. Bonjour again, mes amis. It is moi, le pink pussycat, cat burglar extraordinaire. I am here at my secret hideout in Paris with the lovely morning laser. Oh, somebody get me out of this dump. I'm so bored. Fear not, mon amour. I, the big pussycat, will free you from your boredom with my amazing invention, the Life-O-Matic. The life of what The Life-O-Matic. It will pull you from the painting and bring you to real life. And then you will be mine. Oh, 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 oh. oh they're gonna lock you away in a padded cell, fella. No, they won't, because they will never find me. <laughs> They'll never discover my secret hideout. Never! And so, to find the pink pussycat, our gallant treasure hunters search for a famous place in France where the people wear no pants. And according to my tour booklet, the Eiffel Tower is a real famous place. But all the people here are wearing pants. Ah, except for that shady dude by the elevator. He's not wearing a stitch. I've my bodkins. It's the shadow of my pink pussy cousin. Do you think he wants us to follow him, Snoop? Either that, or he's got a bad case of present ivy. After him, crew! Look, Mudley! It's the shadow of the pink pussycat! He'll lead us straight to the Moaning Liza! And once we have it, we'll be rich, rich, rich! This is for this little what about them! Don't worry about those treasure chumps! They won't be bothering us anymore! <laughs> Because I'm taking the liberty of cutting the cable on the elevator. <laughs> oh, Nelly! This here elevator's gone from old coal. We're gonna crash, Yogi. What'll we do? May I suggest a group life insurance policy? We've been falling like this clear through the whole commercial. Oh, loyal 
loyalty to your master, you have returned to moi. No? <laughs> you are mad with moi because I left you behind to take the blame for my crime. We? Oui? Can you ever forgive moi? Come on, we see you. Ooh, you have brought the copper. He stole the painting and my favorite line. Bring along the evidence, Clamp. Sure thing, Super Simper. Ooh la la. <laughs> they will never touch me now. Now where'd that varmin get to? For what do you know? He's part of the show. Sacramento. See coppers again. Liza painting has been rescued by Yogi's treasure hunters. Now let's go to the Louvre Museum in Paris for the unveiling of this recovered masterpiece. Ladies and gents, we now present the Moon and Liza and friends. Oh, move over, will ya? You're crowding me. Sacre nuts! I've been framed. And he ain't the only one. Monkey, this is all your fault. As if a lousy art critic. Ouch! Well, Yogi, that wraps up another mission. Let's hit the skies. Not until we say our goodbyes. So farewell to France, where the people went the past. Au revoir to France, as we end our camp and dance. Hello there, it's Yogi Bear with Cartoon Trivia. Who is the bad guy in Yogi's treasure hunt? The answer begins after the count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's a serious villain. Ooh, a fiendish foe. If there's a treasure of mine, he'll be such a high low. If you see him coming in his dying machine, with muscle by your side, his name is Dick Dastardly. If you guessed Dick Dastardly, yuck. You are smarter than the average bear. Hee hee hee! We will return after these messages.